What's going on, Risco Gang? Coming at y'all boys with another banger, boys. And today is here. It's finally here, boys. Bad 24, first video of the year. And we're going to be talking about the things you need to do day one. Day one of Madden 24 Superstar Mode, the brand new mode in the game. Y'all need to be doing day one. Let's go hop into it. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe for Zuno's you know, three things will go a long way. It helped your boy a lot, so go ahead and take care of that. And also, make sure you guys turn that bell notification so you guys miss anything. I mean, anything Madden 24 Superstar. All right, boys, now hopping into it, boys. So, first things first. The first thing we're going to be talking about, you need to be doing day one. The Mantry Boot Up, Match 24, Superstar, and everything like that is going to be picking your position. So, if you look on your screen right here, this is going to be the first thing you see when you press on Match 24, Superstar mode. You're going to see five positions. You're going to see quarterback, halfback, wide receivers. You have a wide receiver build, linebacker, and cornerback. So, this is going to be the first five. You know, the, 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 these are going to be the positions you see, and this, this is going to be the first thing you, you know get to choose is your position. So, your position is going to determine a lot because, I'm going to tell you right now, boys, it takes a long time to grind builds this year. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be some, you know, five-hour grind. Nah, buddy. It's going to be at least two days for you to get to a 9 out overall and get all your stats and abilities and things of that nature. So I'm telling you right now, day one, you want to figure out what, you're, what you want to be. Do you want to be a quarterback? Do you want to be a halfback? Do you want to be a wide receiver? Now, I'm going to tell y'all, um, I'm going to be dropping, you know, the best builds and all that type of stuff. I'm, I'm going to be dropping those videos really, really soon in the next day or so. So make sure you guys, once again, are subscribed to the channel. Have that noty bell on. And another big change they did make this year is that if you do delete a build, so you see right here, uh, if I press X and I try to delete my wide receiver build, it says all superstar data, including position, career, mission, level progress, and saved appearance will all be deleted on all platforms. And another big change they did make this year is that if you do delete a build, so you see right here, uh, if I press X and I try to delete my wide receiver build, it says all superstar data, including position, career, mission, level progress, and and saved appearance will all be deleted on all platforms. Earn gear, animations, and credit will be maintained. Are you sure you want to delete this file? So yes, this is a big change this year. So if you delete, if you delete your build this year, so let's just say, you know, oh, you mess up on the career mode or something like that, and you delete your build, you will lose everything. Now, that doesn't mean you can't reset your build. Yes, you can still reset your build. You can still change things about your build. If you want to be, you know, taller, or, you know, a little bit skinnier, you can change anything and reset everything. But if you delete your save progress the entire build is gone yes it's entirely gone that's because you get a lot more credit this year and if they allowed you to keep your build basically there would be a huge glitch in the game where people would just you know make a build delete them make a build delete them so that's why they did fix this next thing boys i want to tell y'all to do day one is do not and i mean under any circumstances do not play superstar showdown without your build being good so you see right here my players are level 10 and i'm still not going into any superstar games no ranked games or none of that with this level 10 build i'm going to wait until he's a good enough level before i hop into online do not i'm telling you right now do not hop into online games day one with a level one build level two build it's gonna be bad bro your your build sucks this year way worse than last year i mean bro you're a 73 overall that is terrible my boy so i'm telling you right now day one do not do not make this mistake do not hop into superstar shine it's not the best way to level up i'm gonna make a video on that so once again make sure that sub you know make, make sure subs i'll make sure i know you bell on so like I said, this way of just hopping in, the sh hopping in the showdown, just hopping in the rank, it's not going to be good. I'm telling you right now, you're going to lose a bunch of games. You're going to, you know, drop a bunch of passes. Your, your, your player's just not going to be good at all because, once again, he's a 73 overall. So I'm telling you right now, do not make this mistake. Do not play online day one. Get your build up to a good enough level where you feel comfortable and you feel like he's good enough. Tell you right now, don't make the mistake. Next up, boys, at number three, what you want to do day one, do not. This is another do not. Do not. Not spend a bunch of money on gear and you know celebrations and stuff like that day one i'm gonna tell you this right now because you get a bunch and i mean a bunch of cred you get a bunch of free gear from career mode you get a bunch of stuff for free 100 for free just for playing and grinding the game so once again i'm going to recommend y'all i would i would recommend do not just hop on this game hop on superstar and you know just start buying a bunch of stuff don't just start buying a bunch of gear and stuff
stuff like that because once again you get a bunch of free gear so like i said i don't want y'all boys to, you know just be dropping a whole bunch of money and stuff on this gear because like i said you get a bunch of free stuff I'm tell you right now this is not gonna be the move just buying a whole bunch of jordan gear and all that type of stuff do not do it bro me personally i would do it because i'm a content creator but like i said for the for the majority of y'all i would recommend do not spend money you get a bunch and i mean i'm telling you right now i'm gonna make a bunch of videos you make you you get you can get a bunch of free stuff for absolutely free last thing boys for day one y'all want to know like i said the men you hop in the match me for is just learn the game bro learn where everything is learn how to change your gear learn how to change your animations learn how to change everything with your player because i'm telling you right now like if you don't know how to change your helmet and you're you know six months down the road that's just terrible my boy if you don't know how to change your animations six down the six months down the road and match me for that's bad bro so i'm telling you right now day one just learn where everything is you see right now, i'm in edit superstar you see i can change you know my my all my gear you see i can change you know, going here change the helmets and stuff like that you'll see that they did add um all you know a bunch of new helmets and stuff like that in here so you see right there the helmet mods you can see you know we have the revo revo speed you see we have the speed flex so like i said just learn and see everything that's new with this mode there's a bunch of new you know new things and new changes that they've made like i said once again with the gear itself like Oh, bro, the, the gear is, like, totally, you know, upgraded and it's been improved a lot. So, I'm telling you right now, like I said, just go through everything. See everything that's new with this game. You know, you can see a bunch of, you know, the jerseys and stuff like that. And, like I said, you, you can see right here. You see I can roll up my jersey. A lot of people didn't know you could do this for the entire year of Madden 23. So, I'm telling you right now, just go in here and learn where everything is. Like I said, people, you know, people don't know what a rolled up jersey is. It's literally in the torso. Go to jersey style. You can, you know, roll up your jersey. So, like I said, just learn where everything is. Learn where stuff is. Learn where you're, you know, where to find your gear, where to find your celebrations. Um, you can see right here. If you go, if you press R, be on the screen, you will see, you'll find the celebration. So I can change my celebrations. You see, I can also change my throw animations. I can have the Josh Allen, the Aaron Rodgers. I can change my throw animation, which is a huge W. And you also see if I click RB twice and go to appearance and click physique right here. This is where I can change my height and weight and things of that nature. So I could be taller or shorter and things like that. So like I said, you see right here. I can also, I can also change my name and stuff. So once again, like I said, this menu and like I said, just looking at everything in the game is going to be super helpful because once again you want to know where everything is you see right here i can change you know what i wear in the, in the career mode games so once again look at everything check everything check everything that's new in the game because i'll tell you right now it's going to be huge and it's, it's going to be a big change from last year but that's everything for the video boys the next video will be the fastest and i mean the best level up method to get to nine nine as fast as possible so y'all boys are not stuck at in the 73 overall so once again make sure you guys have that noti bell on appreciate y'all boys for watching like comment subscribe for more bangers just like this one and until next time Peace.